at 715, we also got the number six Patriots, which is 10 7, traveling to number three Bills, which is at 11 at six. And that's basically the AFC for you. They're only one game separated, but there's a difference. There's like three, three different, three spot difference between them. That's how tight and competitive the AFC was this year. Um, so this, is, this game's going to be really kind of fascinating, right? Patriots are going through a lot of injuries. I could, I'm could, i going to list them all off to you real quick, and you're going to get bored about halfway through. But you got running back Damian Harris. He has a hand injury. Limited practice question for the game. Tight end Dalton Keene from the beginning of the year. He had his knee and discus injury. He's likely off for the rest of the year. Jacoby Myers has a thigh injury. Wide receiver, limited practice question for the game. Left tackle Isaiah Wynn has a hip injury. He's out for the game. Uh, center David Andrews had a shoulder injury. Limited practice question for the game. Defensive end Henry Anderson had a pectoral. He's out for the year, most likely. And Lawrence Guy has a shoulder. He had a limited practice question for the game. Uh, defensive tackle Christian Barmore had a knee injury. Limited practice question for the game. Byron Coward had an undisclosed injury, but he's still on the pup list, so he will not play tonight. Uh, Weak side linebacker Brandon King has a toe injury, limited practice question for the game. Ronnie Perkins has an ankle, he's supposed to be returning this week. We'll see how that works out. Anthony Jenkins also had an undisclosed injury, he's supposed to be back for this week. Middle linebacker Don Hightower uh, had a knee injury, limited practice question for this game. Uh, Harvey Lange has a knee injury, he's likely out for the year. Uh, Torres Hall has an undisclosed, he's supposed to return from Pop this week. We'll see how that works out. And Raekwon McMillan has an ACL, he's out for the year. Uh, strong side linebacker Jamie Collins had an ankle injury, limited practice question for the game. Cameron McGrone has an ACL, he's out for the year. Uh, cornerback Jalen Mills has COVID. Sean Wade has COVID. Jonathan Jones had a shoulder injury, he's out for the year, most likely. Strong safety, so if these injuries hold out, you'll have only one healthy safety. Now, three of the four are questionable, so we'll see how that works out. But strong safety. Kyle Duggar has a hand injury, limited practice question for the game. Adrian Phillips has a knee injury, limited practice question for the game. And free safety Cody Davis has a wrist injury, limited practice question for the game. Joshua Bledsoe also has a calf injury. He's on IR. Uh, he's also a free safety. And then kicker Nick Folk was an interesting one. What do they do with kicker if Nick Folk can't go? He has a knee injury, limited practice question for the game. Like I said, the Patriots were very unlucky with injuries, but they were lucky enough to make a playoff. So that's all I would care about if I was a Patriots fan. Um, the Bills, on the other hand, have been the luckiest team, knock on wood for Bills fans, um, but I've ever seen injury-wise. Like, legitimately, this team has had four people get hurt the entire year. This is the only four injuries that have stuck. Uh, obviously, one of them's really bad, and it's cornerback Tredavious White going down with his ACL injury and in, against the Saints, and that really hurts this defense. But outside of that, these players are huge. Like, obviously, you would love to have Ike Boker, because then Achilles injuries out for the year, but this... It's not a huge loss. Uh, defensive tackle Justin Zimmer, again, he's a nice piece, but again, not a huge loss. It's not like you're losing one of your great players. Um, he's on a, he has an ACL injury. He's out for the year. And Brian Cox, who's a player, hasn't even seen the field this year, I don't believe. He had Achilles injuries out for the year. Again, the Bills have been so lucky injury-wise. And honestly, this, this game's going to be interesting. It's going to be really cold. And you got to hope if you're Buffalo, it's not windy. Like, weirdly enough, Buffalo has built a team that is not great in the cold, which is odd because they are in Orchard Park. Um, but regardless, I think Buffalo is really good. I think they're a really good football team. They're one of my favorite teams to watch the entire year. I think Josh Allen's going to kill it here. I think Josh Allen's going to beat the Patriots by a significant margin. They're favorite by four and a half. Give me Buffalo by more than four and a half.